Hello, today I'm here with a new video and I think it was last week I posted a video where I swatched my 15 best shades out of 15 different palettes and now I'm going to do the opposite so I'm going to take the 15 worst shade or the 15 shades I like the least from the same palettes and this video I saw at Paulina's Beauty so I can leave her video and also her channel down in the description box and maybe up in the card yeah I leave her channel up in the card and also in the description box so go and check her out she is one of my absolute favorite youtubers so you should really check her out I asked her if it was okay if I did the same and she gave it a go <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do today and over here and I think I hope that my swatching game is a little bit better this time than before so we just start and I'm going to take the palettes in the same order as I did in my other video so first up is the NYX Ultimate Brights it's this palette contains some shades that are pretty good and some shades that are pretty shitty one shade I don't like at all is this purple one mostly because I don't really like purple I say that with a purple look but usually I don't like purple at all and this shade it's okay but I don't I think I've used it once and it looks so dark in the pan it's that one it looks dark in the pan but on the skin no so it's not a good shadow and I don't like the color next up is the makeup geek and many MUA palette and it looks like this and the shade I like the least is Aphrodite it's this one it's a dark brown I think this video is going to contain a lot of black shadows because I don't really like black and also some brown it's nothing wrong with this shadow it's just that I don't like it I think I have used it maybe once so it's not a favorite next up is Nabla Soul Blooming and it looks like this and in this palette I, I don't like this brown either I think it's boring and I don't think it fits in with the other colors I don't maybe with this one but I think they could have put in something more fun the other colors I really like but this one yeah it's a brown it feels like this is going to be exactly the same yeah almost this is a little bit cooler than the other one oh. the swatching game is not better this time they are pretty similar maybe that's why I don't like either of them so I like this palette but I think this could have been something else I don't think it's needed in this one then we have the creepy cute palette and this I know which color it is right from the start and it's void it's the black one they these colors are really really nice I love them all not thumbstone thumbstone and thumbstone as much and not void they are making a pastel palette and put in a black I rather had the would have a white one instead of a black one so I don't think I'm never gonna use this I really don't like black eyeshadows so yeah it's a normal black eyeshadow I just don't think it fits into this palette it should have been more fun with another pastel or a white one that's my preference but I don't like the black one then we have the infinite palette by Linda Halberg and 
in this it's the same thing I don't like this one I don't know if this is only black or is it yeah it's only black it's called Fornax and I have used this maybe once and that's because I don't I don't like black eyeshadows I understand it in this palette because this is a multifunctional palette so maybe you use it for your eyebrows or maybe you use it for eyeliner but I don't do eyeliner I don't have black brows so I think I have used it once or twice and it's not a favorite of mine now we're coming into the colored rain Queen of Hearts and this looks like this and here I don't really know which one I don't like because I think all the colors is good with each other like even though I don't like purple as much they are needed and now it's pretty light it's raining and uh, not raining and the sun is out and everything like that but if I have to choose, I think I will say this, um, the purple one, Ladyship. It's a good color, uh, it's just that I don't like purple, as so I've said a thousand times in this video. And that was the shittiest swatch. Maybe this color isn't good? Okay, this does not swatch as well as I remember. It's nothing wrong with the finger swatch, but when I try to transfer it to my arm, it's coming out like this, like total shit. So this is Ladyship from Queen of Hearts, and I can't remember it was this bad. But if you see, it's a little bit dry, but in the finger it's... But on the swatch, yeah, so no, this is a super bad color. I can't remember, it was like this before, but oh well, it's the ladyship from Queen of Hearts, so don't buy it for that color. Then we have the Kristen Leanne and Urban Decay, and here I know which color before I even open it because it is <laughs> the black one, fur thin, fur. 13th floor and I just don't think it fits in this is a very unusual palette mainly because of the placement of the shadows and the colors are fun but not the black one I understand that people want black shadows but when they are in like every single palette I don't need that many black but this is a really good black. As you see, if you compare with these two, this black is really black. So that, it's a good black, but if I could choose, I do not want this in this palette. It would be fun with maybe a additional green. Maybe a matte colorful shadow instead of the black one. But it's a good black. Then we have the next palette from Urban Decay and it's the Gwen Stefani palette that looks like this. This also has black but in this palette I'm more okay with the black one because this is a neutral palette with two pops of colors and one gold. Um, so in this palette I think it's this one, the grey one that's called Sirius. I think it fits in the palette but it's... Nothing that I use, nothing I want to use. I don't really know why, but for this one I have rather had one more dark brown instead of a dark grey. Okay, so now we go into the Anastasia palettes. So first up is the Subculture. This looks like this, for you that missed it. Uh, it has a lot of green. And green is not my favorite color family. But I think I am okay with these greens. Uh, I like them. One that I don't like. I don't really like this one, Cube. It's a nice color, but 
I don't think it fits in this palette. Let's see if I can swatch so you can see anything. I don't think you can see it. It's a very, very light. And it's, I wouldn't call this a shadow, I would call this maybe a topper, an eyeshadow topper. Because it doesn't leave much on its own. So that's why I don't like it. I don't know if you even can see, yeah, you maybe can see it. It has a pink tint to it, but it's not working on its own. And you have to put it on something else. So that's why I don't like it. And then we have the Prism palette. And it looks like this. And here it is... Uh, which one doesn't that like in here? I think I have to go with the black one here also. I think they could have done something more fun with this. And this is Obsidian. <laughs> it's like five black colors and some gray and this is not even a good black shadow if we compare it with the Urban Decay and then this it's not that good and I think it's boring when they put black colors in just for the sake of it I don't know if people use black eyeshadow that much, that the makeup world thinks. And then we have the Soft Glam. And it feels like I want to take the black one in this also. But is that boring? I don't know, I, I could have done it without the black. So I think I have to take the black. This is a lot more creamier and I think this is better in color. This, this is matte, way better. So that is Noir from Soft Glam. And I just think I don't want the blacks. If I want black shadow I can buy a black shadow. Like in all the palettes I have I have a black it feels like. And I don't use black eyeshadows. And now the four last palettes are all UV's place and we start with the Soglo palette. And this one is this color I don't like. I don't understand why they put the brown in it. Maybe if you want to do like a more wearable look and have the opportunity to do a daily look with just a pop of color. But when I buy a palette with these strong colors, I want just colors. They could have done so much more with this. Because I don't think many people buy this because they want to do a natural look. A all day look for most of people. I think you buy this because you want to try colors or you love colors. And then I think it should be nine colorful color. Colorful colors. I don't think I've ever used this. It's a nice, pretty bright brown. It doesn't, it's not like even brown. In the camera, it seems like it's orange, but it's brown, but it's a warm brown. But in this one, I would have loved to have one more shimmer, maybe a pink shimmer or a purple shimmer or something blue but not brown and then we have the festival palette and this one I don't know which I don't like okay I think it's this one Kileke I'm not that into grey and black as you can see here on my swatches I how have I even swatched this this is a really good color, but I just don't think I'm ever going to use it because I don't like the dark eyeshadow. But it's the shadow is really, really good, but it's nothing 
I'm eager to use. So, yeah. And then we have the Dusay palette. And in this one, I know which one I don't like. I don't like this, the custard, because it's not my color family. <laughs> and for some reason I don't think it fits in. And also it it's not really the same. In the pan it's it's on the arm. So I don't really like this. I could have done without it. I think I have used it once, so yeah. And then the last palette and <laughs> now the weather is pretty awful again. I think the sun disappeared. And the last palette is the Magic Palette palette by UVS of course because I have only UVS left and it looks like this and I think it's ife 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 I don't like but I don't like this either but I think it's this one that is my least favorite in this palette I it looks blue, but I think it's purple. And this doesn't even swatch that good if... for being UVS. It looks like this. So this is my 15 least favorite shadows in this 15 palette. And as you can see, it's much cold tones and it's much very many black, a few purples, and this is what I have imagined it to be because I know which color I don't like. So yeah, this is my 15 least favorite colors in the 15 of my different palettes. So I really hope you liked this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you are not. And I ex use the light in this video because the sun is coming and then it's going and it's coming and it's going I hope it is okay now I see it doesn't look good at all behind me but I really hope you like this video and I will see you in the next one bye